name is Haley Bright, and it's time to draw my life. I grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee. I love, love, love it there. My parents had me when they were really young. They were like 24, 25. They were really in love. My dad had awesome hair, and they got married in a church. I was a chubby baby. My parents fed me formula milk instead of breast milk, so I was big. Luckily, I grew out of that. And then I started chasing the ducks around the duck pond. Though this duck looks more like a mini dinosaur. I was trying to feed them crackers, but usually they just ran towards the lake and jumped in. I just wanted a duck as a pet. Is that too much to ask? I did a lot of gymnastics growing up. I would tumble or do back handsprings basically anywhere I could find room. A lot of times I would tumble at my brother's baseball games. Speaking of my brother, we were really close growing up. I have a little brother, his name's Devin, he's two and a half years younger than me. He's the nicest, coolest guy you'll ever meet, ever. We've never fought one day in my entire life. The only thing I disliked about my brother was he was gross. He would spit in his soda cans and then my mom would be like, why don't you guys share it? And I'd be like, ew, that's gross, mom. My brother and I played together a lot as kids. We played with G.I. Joes, Barbies, My Little Ponies. One of our favorite things to do was we'd have them fight each other. So it'd be like the G.I. Joes versus the Barbies. And then sometimes the G.I. Joes would end up with the Barbies and get married. Speaking of Barbies, I always really wanted a hot pink Barbies Power Wheels. My parents shot my dreams down. They said if I had a Power Wheels, I'd never get enough exercise. They were probably right. So I got a bike. Then I ran into a big tree and then I cried a lot. It was terrible. But I don't believe in giving up. So I rode that silly bike until I was really good and I earned a medal. Just kidding. I didn't earn a medal, but I felt like a winner. When I was in second grade, my brother and I spent many, many, many hours playing the original NES. We spent so much time playing Duck Hunt, shooting that silly dog, and we played a ton of Mario. We had two neighbors that lived next door. My brother and I would team up with my neighbor and her brother, and we would play Super Mario Brothers outside. We would fight bad guys, we'd team up and fight Bowser. Whenever we'd beat him, we'd be like, take that, ha ha ha. I've always been super close to my parents. They're both amazing people. They're so in love. They would always drive around and go see movies and kiss. They were just such a good influence on me. I totally love my parents. I don't ever want anything else, just my parents. My grandparents were a huge part of my life growing up. Every summer we went on vacation with my mom's parents to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And my grandfather would always say, Haley, let's go play in the waves. Let's find the biggest wave and let's jump over it. And I'd be like, Grandpa, that's awesome. And then it would come and I'd be like, ah, that's so scary. Get me out of here. But my grandfather always taught me, keep fighting the waves. Looking back, that was really a metaphor for a lot of things in life and really shaped how I viewed things growing up. One of my favorite card games that we always played on family vacation was, you know, I love this game. It's so much fun. And our family would always get together around the table and play it. We'd eat popcorn. We'd hang out. On bonus occasions, my aunt and uncle would join, play till 2 a.m., and it was awesome. I also saw my grandparents on my dad's side of the family a lot. They lived farther away on a farm out in Tennessee, and they had cows and chickens. I thought it was really funny because we didn't have cows and chickens in the city. And they'd take us to McDonald's, and I thought that was cool. Happy meals, yeah. Outside of my grandparents, my immediate family, I have a really, really cool uncle. And every summer on family vacation, my uncle would be like, Hey, Haley and Devin, let me teach you how to shoot people off a tall building with super soakers. As they walked by, we thought it was funny. <laughs> my mom didn't think it was funny, so she just made a sad face. That brings me to Sarah, my oldest friend in the whole world. We met on the first day of second grade. I walked into school. I was really nervous, but I looked across and I saw this cute girl with blue glasses. Actually, they were big, big blue glasses, but I thought it was really cool. I was also really blessed to have four other best girlfriends growing up. Jessica is still one of my best friends and is about to move out to LA this year. I'm very excited. Skipped to middle school, which was pretty uneventful. I had my first kiss with this guy named Dan. And I thought he was so hot. Wait, I got it all hot, hot. And he was a friend of mine, but went to the spring dance together and his mom sat in the minivan. And the minivan is that box right there. He walked me to the door, it was silly. I thought I was in love, we had our first kiss. Other than that, I did gymnastics, I went to the pool, I thought it was cool, I hung out with boys. It's all pretty meaningless until at 
some point in middle school, I discovered God and Christ, and I just felt like my life had a lot more meaning, and I was a lot happier, and I had questions about eternity, and where was I going with my life? I just felt a lot more fulfilled from there on out. I became less of a brat, I went to high school, and I knew what was important in life. I did a little dating in high school. I dated a senior when I was a freshman. I thought he liked me, but that was a bad idea. I had some friends, and I went to parties, but I didn't really drink alcohol. I just went to the party, and it was cool, and I was happy. I really loved high school. I was on the dance team, and I missed it when I went to college, but I was really excited because I went with my two best friends to UT, 30,000 plus students. I thought it'd be fun. Turns out I was kind of sad. It was hard to fit in wasn't as happy and it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. All my friends were in sororities, so I thought, I'll join, now nah, that's stupid. But then, second year, a light bulb went off and I thought, friends? That could be cool. I joined a sorority, turns out it was a great way to meet friends, and I became a peer mentor, and college was good times, I really loved it. But there were some hard times, there were definitely some hard things about college. I struggled with identity because there were so many people at my college, there were 30,000 people. And I felt like I was just this person, wait, this is a bad drawing. And I was just this person stuck in a lot of people. Bam, 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 I'm trying to look over them. I was a good kid, but I wasn't a Bible banger. I believed in letting people make their own decisions. But I wasn't a bad kid, I just felt like I was a normal person. There wasn't a lot of room for normal in Tennessee at the time. On top of that, I wanted to move to LA and be an actress, and I would watch all these really skinny actresses on TV at the time. Like, I want to move to Hollywood. but. I feel like I'm too big so I need to stop eating pizza, which sucked because I love pizza. And then I became thin, but I wasn't happy and it just sucked. The hardest thing I lost in college was this really, really special guy I was dating. But at the time I thought, hey, every guy is this amazing so it doesn't matter even though I'm in love with you. The grass is greener on the other side and I'm going to move to LA and I'm going to marry Brad Pitt. Little did I know, most every guy in Hollywood is gay so that didn't turn out well. It took years to get over him. But that's just how it goes. I moved out to LA with my best friend Sarah, same girl I mentioned earlier from childhood, best friend since second grade. I was like, this is so awesome, moving to LA together, I'm so lucky, and I'm gonna be on TV. I had some easy jobs moving out here, I worked in eye doctor, and then I worked as a personal assistant. I don't even know why I wrote easy, they were hard, I didn't really like them that much. I put in so much time until I landed some dream jobs of modeling, acting, producing, and then TV hosting. I love it all. I got to talk about video games. I could talk about tech and movies and fashion. And I could talk about pop culture, oh my gosh, and music. And I just love, love, love my job and I'm so happy. Even though I was so happy, I felt a sense of loss because I lost my grandmother in high school, but I thought no other bad things gonna happen. Boy, was I wrong. I lost my dad three and a half years ago. And I lost my grandfather and then my grandmother and then my other grandfather. I was really close to my grandparents and my dad, and I miss them all the time. And it just is kind of an everyday thing. On a happy note, I got a cat about a year and a half ago. His name is Little Vike. Don't ask. He's a Vikings football fan. He's super cool and he's black, and he's in a lot of my YouTube videos. Um, I also have been dating this really cute boy, and I'm really in love with him, and he's awesome. I have friends in Tennessee, friends in LA. I travel a lot. I go to, wait, hold on. I go to New York and I love my family and I love God and I really love YouTube fans. You guys are cool. Oh, hold on. And video games. Coming up, I'm looking forward to traveling more, being a better person. I really want to enhance my life this year. As you can see what I'm writing down, I want to be happy and I want to think of more things I'm thankful for and I want to focus on the things that are important like God and my friends and family and religion and everything. And um, I don't know. I want to do a lot of cool work this year, but I also want to do good things for other people and hang out with you guys on YouTube because it makes me so happy as you see I have all these hearts and everything going crazy right now. But in all seriousness, I really love seeing you guys on YouTube every single day. It makes me really happy. It makes me happy to read comments and it gives me a lot of love in my life, a big heart like this and sunshines. My sunshines are happy and my comments are lovable and I just love it every day I come here and it's so much fun. I love you guys. I love you, love you, love you. I gotta fill in this heart. That's how much I love you. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love I can't even say it. I love you guys so much. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of my Draw My Life video was. And I'll see you guys back next week. Bye! Ah.